video. Um, I feel like I got a booger in my nose. I'm laying on the ground because it just feels comfortable right now. I'm exhausted and not because whoo, I'm exhausted, but like not because like of pregnancy. It's because I woke up at 4.50 this morning and it is hold the phone. That was an awful angle. Oh my god. I look like that one guy with no neck from 90 Day Fiance. It's 11.30. Um, I had my NIP at NIPT test today so I had to go to LabCorp and get blood drawn and I was so nervous. I was so nervous because I never get blood. Hi Mr. Beard. Hi. You heard mommy talking so you wanted to join the party? Yeah. Oh and the sister's coming. Oh okay thank you. Oh thank you. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Get. Okay now I'm gonna get out because I'm not allowed to apparently lay down. Um, but yeah, I was nervous because um, I never get blood drawn. Literally ever. So I was nervous about that. I didn't know how much they were gonna take or anything like that. Um, and like, I was low key kind of like nervous about like pain. Like, cause I, again, like I've never given blood. I've never, like during high school, I never weighed enough <laughs> to, to be able to give weight or to give blood. So I never gave blood before. And I never ever only have ever gotten blood work done. So it wasn't bad. Like I like pinched myself there and I was like, can I do this? Can I do this? And I was like, yeah, I can do it. No big deal. Like here I am, like not even like not even thinking I'm scared of like a birth, but here I am like kind of nervous for like a needle or something for blood. Um Oh, oh, my spirit wants to come up. He got a haircut too. Don't you look so good? Yeah, you look so good. Um, yeah. So had that done today. They took like five vials of blood. Like it was so much. So that was kind of surprising. Um, so I'm gonna like pinch myself. And the lady said that I should be getting my results back in two to three days. So we should be finding out the gender. But. I do kind of want to do like some sort of gender reveal like with me and Connor so I think once I get the email that um, I'm going to forward it off to one of my friends and have her purchase something. I really have no idea what the heck I want to do. There's a big truck driving by because they're building a gas station next to the house. Um, and I don't know what I want to do. Like. It's so hard with gender reveals because all of them are like the same. Um, and I think a lot of people want to be unique and be different or whatever. Um, and I'm trying to think of like what could be different. And really the two only things that I could think of is, or th I have three, three ideas. So one of them being like a pop-up card. So like getting obviously a pop-up card, it opens up and it'll say like it's a boy, it's a girl, whatever. Like, I really like that idea, but I can't find anything. Maybe I did find something on Etsy. I don't remember. Um, the second thing is, I think it would really be cool um, to get a gender-specific teddy bear from, like, Build-A-Bear, because they obviously have those. Um, and, like, just opening it up that way. Um, and, like, having one of my friends go and, like, order it or buy it or whatever. I, I don't know. And that, that way it could be, like, the baby's first teddy bear. And then the third idea is there's like little boxes with, they're not real butterflies, but they're like the fake, like, I don't know how they're wound up or anything, but it's like a box with like, ooh, sorry. Ooh, it's a box and it, it only comes with like four butterflies, so that kind of sucks. Um, where you open it up and the butterflies fall out and it, they fall like immediately. Um, so those are my three options, but like I want to do something that I can do like right away So the only thing I can think of is like the Build-A-Bear Because I'm just I like want to know like right now like what we're having so we can finally like go like Like get some baby clothes that are like gender specific because right now all we have are like gender neutral stuff um but Yeah, that's that's really about it 
I just had to see how much battery I have because I haven't been charging my camera. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing. I'm really excited. I'm like, ner I'm also praying that there's no abnormalities or anything like that. Like, that's like another reason why I want to like be able to open it up. But if I have my friend like, sorry, I think I have a hair. Yeah. If I have my friend like look at the test, you can be like, oh yeah, everything looks good. Because the lady that I, that was drawing my blood, I asked her, I was like, how do the results work? Like, because I've seen like in Facebook groups, some like have like a, like a, like a separate like button that you press to f see if it's a boy or a girl. But she said she wasn't sure, so. Uh, okay. Um, let me show you what I got going on in the nursery. Not much, actually. I mean, I have some stuff. So, funny, not so funny story. This was a little swing that I put together. When I put it together, I was like, dang, like, this doesn't seem like sturdy enough. So, I went on Amazon because that's where I purchased it. It's Fisher Price. Yeah, it's Fisher Price. And I was like, let me like see how much I paid for it. Because if I didn't pay a lot for it, I'd be like, okay, I'm just going to get a new swing anyways. Um, and then when I went on Amazon, it like was nowhere to be found. So I just like typed in the name and it's on recall. So I wish that there was a way that like I knew that it was on recall. If I literally didn't look it up, I would have had no idea. But it was recalled because of the, um, like the backing of it, I guess. So I have to remove that and send it to them. Um, I was able to fill out like the recall, um, information and stuff online. So they're sending me like a bag or whatever to put in the sling. But like, what the hell am I going to do with like the rest of this? Like, what am I going to do with that? So... I literally spent like an hour putting it together and like it shouldn't have taken that long but it did because like I said in my last video I suck at directions not to mention um, putting in the base of it one of the base parts didn't go in where it was supposed to so I had to literally unscrew the bottom of it and f filter it out it was a f oh, it was a nightmare it was a freaking nightmare um, but I did set up the high chair and that also took far too freaking long because I accidentally put the backing of the high chair on without pulling the, 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 the this is for like the, the waist area. Um, I didn't pull these out. So the seat was sitting on top of it and I could not figure out how to get the back of it off. Um, and I was like YouTubing it, whatever. Low key didn't even think about checking the instructions. So I checked the instructions, finally figured it out, but it was still a fucking pain in the ass. Like, it was such a freaking nightmare. Like, it shouldn't have taken as long as it did to put these, like, it was literally like a half day's work. I hated every second of it. Um, come on, Oppa. Um, but I think kind of I want to, like, I pulled this one out next. This is the bassinet. I think I want to try and tackle that next, but it's not going to be today because, like I said, it's like 11.30. It was 11.40 now. Damn, I talk a long time. Um, and where's Ollie? I just want to make sure he's not in the room. Over! I don't think he's in here. No. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to try and do that today because... It's 11.30, I have a nail, a nail appointment or two to get this final taken care of, and I am tired. I don't want to. I don't think I have enough time to try and put it together, to be honest, right now. Um, but yeah, sorry, bad angle. My work is not working right now. Like, we, our system is, like, web-based, and... The website is just not loading and thankfully it was like I I don't know when it started but it was obviously when I was getting my blood test done so I feel like I didn't miss out on much so it was good so make sure he's down here there you are 
Oh, you done one. Okay, bye. But yeah, just wanted to check in with you. I am eight weeks. Or, oh my god, why do I keep saying eight weeks? No, I'm ten weeks. Ten weeks of five days. I'm almost eleven weeks. And we should be finding out the Jennifer baby this week. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. Just kidding. Hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another video, another segment. Who the heck knows? Um, lately, the way that I've been editing them, it's every like two weeks, cause I get a little rambly with my little check-ins. Um, so, do you wanna come in or no? My dog, my dog. Okay, now you wanna come in. So, the last time I checked in was on Monday which was, I think it was Monday, which was the day that I got my um, blood work done for my NIPT test. Um, and it's Friday now. I never, I didn't record because I was like, oh, I don't know. I honestly was just lazy. Um, so it's Friday. Um, I'm officially 11 weeks and I feel pretty good for the most part. Um, my fatigue is not as bad anymore, so that's good. Um, I was a little nauseous this morning, uh, but nothing to warrant an up truck, so that's good. Um, so drinking lots of water, and today I finally got my results back. So that means that we're going to be doing like a general reveal this weekend, because I want to know ASAP. So. It was so hard because like I wasn't getting like emails at all and I was like, I, she told me on Monday it was going to be like two to three days um, for the results. So I was like thinking yesterday at the absolute latest, um, but that was a no. And then um, I, well, I woke up this morning and I was like, maybe I have to make an account with LabCorp. Like I don't have an account with them. So I made an account and I saw like all old past um work orders from them and one of them was january 13th and because it was literally like right when i woke up i was like oh my god this is it like i can't read it like whatever it is um and like after like i woke up brushed my teeth did all the things and i was like wait a minute it's not from the 13th the 13th is when i had my confirmation of pregnancy the 31st is from my blood work so i was like okay i still don't have it what the heck um so i I was like, you know what? It's probably going to go to my junk mail. So I've been checking my junk mail also, like all week long to see if like I've gotten any like emails from LabCorp from there. And then like around 1230, I see like notifications at Job Corps or whatever. And I was like, so I like log into my account and there it was. And I didn't click on it because I was like, no, I don't want to read it. I obviously want to know like everything okay with my baby. But I don't want to risk seeing the gender, whatever. So I like FaceTime my friend Christine. I was like, I got the results. I need you to log into the account and view it for me. Don't steal my identity, even though my identity is not fun at all. Um, and so she read it. Everything's good. Um, like all of, like HIV negative. Um, I was... Like I have a really high percentage of the baby not being or not having Down syndrome, so that's good too. Um, I mean, not nothing wrong with that, but it's just um, another test that that honestly I was kind of most not worried, but more um, uh, anticipating what those results were going to be. Um, so that's all good. And then she's like, "Yep, I know what the gender is." The only thing is that I had high of was white blood cells, um, but I think that's normal. I don't know. When I go to my new doctor, I'm going to talk to her about it, but from what it sounds like, it sounds like it's generally pretty normal for your white blood cells to increase um, during pregnancy, but I have no idea. Um, but that's the only thing that she said that was like, whatever, but... She said that there was no abnormality, abnormal, abnormalities, there we go, 
So thank God, because like as soon as I got that, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. I'm so nervous. I want to know what the results are. Just please tell me everything's okay with my baby. <laughs> so thankfully she like put that to ease and she is going to actually be doing um, my gender reveal thing for me, which I personally want to do a Build-A-Bear and thankfully she's she already had errands to run at the mall, so she's actually going to go to the mall, the mall here that I know has a Build-A-Bear. So she's going to do that for me, and it's going to go with the theme of the room, um, depending on the, the bait, whatever the sex is, um, because I picked out two beddings that I really, really like from Wayfair. Um, one of them is like this botanical, it's very leafy, very earthy for the boy, and then for the girl, it's like purple flowers with like pink flower accents with like white background it's so freaking pretty um so those are my themes and so she's like okay so like now i know like what to get the bears because i want i said i think in the last clip that i want them to be like gender specific but she said she's like i don't want you to i don't want to get you a pink or a blue one because it's not going to go aesthetically pleasing with your room and i was like yeah that's actually a good point so i think what she plan if it's a boy she's going to get like a tan bear with like a green shirt to kind of go with that earthy tone um uh theme or whatever and i think if it's a girl she might be doing like a white bear with uh pink or purple t-shirt i'm not too sure but ba basically that's what she's gonna do and i'm so freaking excited but of course connor was on instagram yesterday and he sent it to me and there's a place here in vegas where they do gender reveals and um it's like where you sh go and shoot and it's whatever and i think they actually specifically do it for them i don't know Connor said he was going to call, but like, I don't want to wait. And I also don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I know he wants to blow stuff up. So I know, I told him, I was like, we got the results. Um, Christina's going to get the Build-A-Bear. But if you want to do the gun thing, like, you're going to have to figure that out if you want to do it together. But I want to know ASAP. Because I want to start buying specific, gender specific baby stuff. Like, as soon as I find out, I'm ordering a bed sheet. Or like, the bedding. And, oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited to find out what we're going to have. But I think, as much as I want a girl, I think it's going to be a boy. Just because of, like, the old wives' tales and all that stuff. Um, I, um, all of my things are going towards boy. And then, like, um, my fertility reading said boy. The only thing that basically said girl was, like, the Chinese calendar. So, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so thankful that the results are all good uh, with the genetics and everything. Oh, I'm so happy. Now I'm just excited and I want to know what my baby is. So hopefully we can do it tomorrow because Sunday we're going to the Pro Bowl, which is super exciting. I'm so excited to go to the Pro Bowl because it's a freaking Pro Bowl. Like, it's cool that Vegas now has a... Um, like a football team and a football stadium so like we can actually host things like this and like who knows maybe eventually we can go to the Super Bowl I doubt that because tickets are really expensive but still like the Pro Bowl is freaking cool and we haven't been to um, the Legion Stadium yet so we're really excited to go and tickets weren't really bad like we spent like 160 and our seats are really freaking good we're in one of the end zones like five rows up like I'm excited and it's something fun to do, <laughs> to actually get out of the house. Because I literally never leave the house, like, all week. So, um, but yeah, hopefully we can find out what we're having on tomorrow, Saturday. Because it's Friday. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot contain my excitement. I'm so excited. Okay. Are we sitting down? Okay, hold on. Let's go with first, Connor, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> he wants a boy. Yeah. He wants a boy, okay. I want a, I want a boy. Okay. I want a girl, but I think it's a boy. Yeah. I think we both think it's a boy. Okay, but why? All of the, um... Why Smith tales like things? Yeah, okay. like all of them kind of... I, I didn't, like, have any girl. And then my fertility reading said boy. The okay. only thing that said girl was the Chinese calendar. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. And he just has, like, this internal instinct that it's a boy. Okay. He's felt like that from the beginning. Okay. Yes. I mean, I totally see him as a boy dad. <laughs> He is already. Well, I know that, but you know what I mean. Okay, ready? Go. 
It's a boy. It is yeah. a boy. It's a boy. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, sick.